Scientists at the University of Oxford are currently conducting one of the largest studies in the world to find out what existing drugs could be used to help fight COVID-19. Elizabeth Palmer spoke to the team behind the study. For the hundreds of thousands of people who get coronavirus, a vaccine, if it comes, will come too late. I was fighting for breath. I was just, I couldn't breathe. That's why an urgent experiment is underway in the UK to find a treatment, one to help the sick recover. It's here in Oxford that the recovery trial was launched. It's the largest study in the world of available drugs already being used to treat certain conditions that may turn out to help COVID-19 patients too. Dr. Peter Horby at Oxford University runs it. We've been able to open this trial across all um, general hospitals in the UK. So it's 170 hospitals. Since mid-March, an astonishing 10,000 patients have signed up. They'll be getting one or more of five drugs, including a common steroid, an antiviral used in AIDS treatment, and the antimalarial hydroxychloroquine. The aim is to see if they work alone or in combination. Our youngest patient in the trial is six, and our oldest is 109. So it's open to all ages. It's also open to pregnant women, and it's open in all hospitals. If it's used properly, is it a great gift to public health? In the consent form, we've got permission to follow up medical records for 10 years, so we can really look at the long-term impact of this disease. And the beauty is that all the drugs in the trial are approved and available, so their use could be scaled up fast. Tim Clayton was one of the recovery trial's volunteers. He was so sick with COVID that he and his wife, Kathy, thought he was going to die. And you said that uh, a podcast gave you a courage in the darkest hours. Tell me about that. Uh, it sounds a bit corny, Liz, but... This is Mission Control Houston. We appear to have a good first stage at this... I remember listening to the moon landing in 1969. Okay, Houston, we've had a problem here. Those guys were on the other side of the moon in a tin can that wasn't working, and they stayed calm, and the team were there supporting them, and, and they made it. Clayton made it too, and says he didn't hesitate to sign up as a recovery trial guinea pig. You don't know it, your, your wife, your husband, your kids, your granny, whatever you do in these research projects might help them. So it wasn't difficult. And I'd do more if they, if they asked me. This is a double blind trial. Neither patients nor researchers know who's getting what, but the first results are due very soon, sometime this month. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, Oxford.